Hello. Hello. More in a spooky way. Hello. Oh, yeah. It's, it's actually pretty easy to go from it's one right really into fun. the user. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since the last box art critique, and since it is the month of Hollow Talk Toberween. Uh, why not look at some horror games? You have lots of opinions on them. I, I, um... On on art you do. On art I do? Yeah. yeah. So do I. The, the, you know, I mean, the, the same standard rules apply, right? It does. It if does. you are... Your eye gets led around. And so on and so forth. But um, no, if your goal is to make a scary image, then you should be using certain tricks of the trade. Imagery. Yeah. To instill uncertainty, fear, confusion... <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps make a doubt. Yep, let yep. a sweat break out or two. So, uh, so we have a bunch of different horror. Like you know, can't just do Resident Evil. Can't no. just do Silent Hill. No, those There's aren't about lots. scariness. Yeah, yeah. There's lots of bullshit out there. So, what is our first one of the day? Let's take a look. Ooh. Starting off strong, I see. Starting off strong. So you want to come out guns blazing? You do. You do. If whenever you're playing four Resident Evil, <laughs> um, you kind of think of automatically just Leon kind of in a weird position on the GameCube. Uh, you do box art, you but do. then you're like, oh, pal, destroyed us. I mean, here when it comes to four Resident Evil, you have to think that they were hot on the success of three, a new generation. So at the bottom there, you can see we have Doctor Salvador. Not he's just like, hey, it's, it's no, me. no main characters, no, no nothing, all tone, all tone, one hundred percent tone. Evil Resi Four man with well, but let's say you don't know who a doc, who the Doctor is. Yeah, man with a weird shaped head or mask holding what is clearly a chainsaw, vacuum cleaner, but sure. With, uh, with, uh, or with leaf blower. Leaf blower! That's the one. It is, it is perfect. You can, like, and, like, we're, we're joking before, but, you know, it leads your eye down, like, the logo is right in the center, and then you just see him, and then you're like, yeah, and then you see the cavalcade, the army of logos that kind of ruin everything. At the bottom, but you have At to. The, you have to, obviously. Yeah. I'm not sure if two discs is required to be on the front. That's usually always, to me, it was always on the back of boxes. I feel like it was, too. Uh, but one way or the other, uh, this definitely doesn't upset Paul Marketing too much because Paul, they understand the name Resident Evil is kind of strong. Is a bit of a big deal, so we can fucking let it rock. Also, like how Capcom was like, if we put blue on our logo and yellow as normal, it'll fucking ruin it. It will. So just make it white and red. Smart yeah. decision, actually. While the Nintendo logo perfectly blends in. Yeah, the last smart decision Capcom apparently ever made. <laughs> Why did we get this? Oh, we did. We did. Here's the House of Splatters, the three Um I don't I, like it. Look, it's done by Julie. Look at the box. It is. Julie it is. Who did the fucking box art for like oh, Eternal Champions? And that's tons why. Of fun yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. Julie ninety two. Yeah, I love her. That's why the light. That's the same body type. That's the same airbrushing as Leon. It's true. <laughs> what? What? Does Splatter? What's his name? Uh, Rick. Rick. Yeah. Why does Rick from Splatterhouse have? A head that is also his hair that it, is also his neck. Actually, in the third one, the sprite kind of looks like that. It's, really? It's turning into his neck, whereas the first two, it's like a straight up, like, you know, hockey mask. But, you know, you know lawyers at any time can burn. There's a lawyer right there bursting uh, through uh, that threshold. Uh, nope, that, and he's yep. like, what, 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 what? I love that he's grappling onto the side of the Genesis art. The the, true. the spine of it. True, true. That gross Julie, monster. Julie knew how to how to like work the the format. She really did. I mean, Wooly. Yeah. His shredded jeans. These dream. These jeans are now fashionable items that the kids are wearing today. Today, are I you? saw someone wearing them today, and I was like, "Whoa, Splatterhouse Three! Rick started it all. Okay, okay. This. I mean, besides the, amazing. besides the fact that this fucking game is great, yeah. this is one hell of an awesome piece. <laughs> because here's the thing. Yeah. This is successfully terrifying. Because Scissor Man is like, choppa choppa. But guess what? What? It's broad daylight. 
Yeah, it it's doesn't cloud, it's have cloudy. to rely it's, on. It's cloudy to be fair. It doesn't have it to. Daylight. But it doesn't have to rely on shadows and dark and whatnot for the it's mood and atmosphere. Yeah, they like they pulled it off with a very kind of bland and gray background. Yeah, it's, but it's fine. The water is gray because it I guess it's reflecting the sky. It doesn't matter because a fucking scissor is in your face and you feel uncomfortable. And also. That's not Scissor Man. That's not even close to what he yeah, looks like in the game. Yeah, that's not that's not the he's point. He's like a small person, and he's like a butler, and he's wearing he's dressed like the Blue Boy, like the let painting. the artist work. Yeah, gray on gray on gray on gray. I think this is totally successful, is despite a, its flaws. Is there such a thing as too many folds in your jacket? I mean, because I think there is. It makes it flat. It, it flattens out the jacket based on it does. yeah yeah when you it's almost like too many muscles making you look like not a person and also I don't know about those rocks on the left that that doesn't seem like too many yet. too many folds no, on the I rocks I think there was a proper reference used for the the the, the buffs the rocks share the same texture as, as the jacket as a, well because that's smart asset reuse by the artist <laughs> he's like well what I learned on the folds of the jacket i can apply to other places i i'm gonna say that the folds also repeat themselves on the clouds the 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 font is a little bit of a clash going on between the words clock and tower white clock is way more gothic than tower clock is like man i'm just holding it down up here look at clock going through that yeah and clock looks like it's clearly like 3d rendered with like you know the little hook on the clock like it's unsheathed oh it's because it's like a hook like a blade I guess, but that's not scissors. No, but it's wait. Maybe it is. They're like they're like a kind of shears. I guess with like a hook size garden shears. Wait, look at his fucking hand. What is his fucking right hand? His left hand, rather. I mean, it's it's kind of, (laughs) yeah, yeah. Sure. This is real. That's not real. This is 100% real. I, you're lying. Take and out I'm, your phone and waste lying? everyone's why, time. Why are you wasting my time with your bullshit? This is the PAL box art. The North American box art is different. But it, this is real. Fuck you. I, I like... Because I don't... This is why the, would I include this if I if I didn't confirm, reconfirm, and Jesus confirm again? Fucking Christ. Oh, what happened? What happened what, on the phone? What were they thinking? Is there uh, a scene? The game's not like this. Is someone playing the game? But it's this a is woman. A, but this is a piece of stock art from fucking dark stock art on Twitter. Yeah, Fire. this is this is from from Shutterstock. I think what this is what they're actually going for. It's like oh, it's we. So there's people moving about and they're playing a game and they're getting scared. So have some woman who's hiding behind the couch. So in the complete opposite move of uh, pal box arts that are usually more artistic <laughs> yeah. and and American ones that are more literal and dumb, here we have the complete opposite. Where rising stars spare no expense in getting one of their uh, junior executives. Oh, dude, I don't even think so. I think this is just a piece of stock art. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's a this- warning that you might run to the lorry. <laughs> if you uh, play this, this game, this barely constitutes as art. But I had to put it in here because I knew you said it wouldn't be real. This is so fake. I can't believe it's it. It's super real. Uh, always felt this was really, really strong because there's a lot going on with this imagery that yeah. tells you exactly what's happening in the game. You know, so obviously you've got to have your PlayStation branding because you, you can't avoid that, and you got to have your Peggy eighteen, Peggy eighteen. Yeah, I always say it like that, too. <laughs> but if you didn't have that, you would just be looking at what is essentially this. Yeah. And that's fucking awesome. It is. Uh, you For don't- those that don't remember, it was like, we have to survive until dawn. So it's obviously an hourglass yep. with the snow, not sand, because yep. whatever. And you can see all our, all our protagonists, all our teens... Just going, well, we're going to go to the cabin. Yeah, there's nothing to represent the bullshit, though. Um, One thing I'll say is that the rest of the the negative space is just kind of nothing. I Not disagree. Sure. I was about to compliment it. What? What? Because it's I don't bold. Kind of- well, it's not. I mean, you know I that this piece—it's like braid. You know that the skull and the hourglass and the house is so strong, and you know that this tells you everything you need. And it's relegated to one side because they had the space for it. They can give a nice logo 
the space it needs to, to 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 breathe on this side, and you don't have to fill bullshit up or above I'm or below. Saying, I'm not saying put tons of imagery or anything. I'm you saying like maybe the moon, maybe just some clouds. I don't, I don't think it needs anything. No, I think it's great. Next, we've got this. <laughs> this is also 100 percent real. Is this the Jogo? No, it's not the Jogo. Okay. Uh, this this is just regular old amnesia, <laughs> okay. and it's since got updated to have like a much more oh, provocative like boy. kind of imagery of like the logo in in, in a well or some something like that. <laughs> this is this is usually in the top tens of worst box arts ever. This photo gets uploaded to me IRL, <laughs> but also to YouTube thumbnails. It does. It does. Just saying. Uh, the monster doesn't exactly look like that. I was going to ask. like some type of Howard the Duck monster. I was going to ask you if the monster had a beak because that looks I'd dumb. also notice there's another jaw just to over his shoulder. I don't. What's going on? I mean. There's another creature, I believe. Uh, um, amnesia? So do you think there's enough effects? No. Why? Listen, guys, here's the problem, okay? Here's this looks like this is from the viewpoint of someone speeding towards these characters. It's this, this, the problem with this art is that they Every did not setting. go to the render uh, fog a, a option in, 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 you know, difference clouds. They didn't get right. enough of those in there. They definitely should have gone over to your filters and what you want to hit is your motion blur yes you want to increase the motion blur you want to get a zoom blur as well going uh, your radials are definitely effect you know I think what the guy there's did just is not enough blur he held down shift and clicked every blur yeah and then yeah. put it all to max yep yeah, yep yeah. and co I just color wise you're just fucking hey, look, look Johnson already spent over an hour on this box man like, what is that? Well, you know what's a compelling color that, that really scares people? Yeah. That. Yeah. Whatever that is. Jesus fucking Christ, you guys. Oh, fuck off. So this got played uh, on the shit server like uh, the other year. And this, like the grudge, when I think of the ring or okay. Ringu, right. I sure think of this. Okay, so look, speaking I of don't, creepy font, I don't terror's realm, dude. I don't mean to like. I don't want to throw bad artists under the bus <laughs> yeah, because not you. I went to no, because like uh, in real life, because I'm like, uh, what am I trying to say here? This is the work of the people that were in my program in college okay. that didn't make it past the first year. Right, so like me. People made the cut <laughs> and then entered and then they handed this in for one of their first assignments. And Carmelo just looked at it them. and went, Oh no, son. No, 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 no. no, no. Your mom will be here to pick you up. <laughs> and you find out the hard way this is not for you, child. So I think whoever designed this literally was like the ring sure i'll draw a piece of jewelry and that's that gold ring that you see right in the middle not knowing what the ring actually means in the context of the movie and this game barely has anything to do with the movie the the part i played of it at least so you say that but i disagree because i don't see anything drawing over on this piece at all this looks 100 percent composited from existing photos of random things possibly on I, I believe the the woman's face is from the game though because it does look similar to the 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 the, the female character but this looks has. like we grabbed some footage of so, yeah we took took a screenshot and then we did uh this is what 2000 or 99 since it's dreamcast yeah. all right so we didn't do a google search we did an alta vista search <laughs> maybe dog pile why is the T of the not capitalized? Because I it's, want to punch someone. It is stylized. You see, it's not the ring. It's the ring. But They're, it's also Terror's Realm. This rules. <laughs> Everyone knows it. This is the fucking best. This, this fooled the angry game nerd into playing. This, this fooled me into playing and renting this game. This is so cool. Wooly. How do you? How are you going to battle the demons with what? With the psycho wave? <laughs> um, 
But it's but it, he's shooting the psycho wave out of his eye. It's there. I seen it. And then for Max Funk, they went with this cool background. They took it right off of like the 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 uh, Kylie Minogue workout tights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. They cut a set. They cut a patch of her tights out, and they put it back there. And then not across the whole back, just enough to create the square where they then cut off the hat for stylish <laughs> purposes. Well, because they can't bleed up until Bandai and Nintendo. And no. Just, so this stands alone, it. and it looks great. It'd be gr- I I'm I'm all you, about you it. You don't actually want to play this game though. It's, it's, it's I want to stare one, at this but... box though. Yeah, this is. I Did thought. You zoom in right in the center there. No, because you hold... zoom in on the face. I there's Chris. Hold on. He looks like he's straight from Marvel vs. Capcom <laughs> Infinite. Wait, please wait, because yeah. I re- I remember one of the first things I liked. Uh, uh, not knowing anything about Ari was the picture of the, the the zombie face turning around with the blood on its mouth. Yeah, that's the director's cut. Uh, what? Okay, what about the one with the raven? With the uh, wh- that's Ari two or something. But this is the original. This is the original box. This is the original. This is what was deemed good. He's being attacked by multiple shadows of something. Can we can we take a moment to acknowledge the veiny explosion? What the fuck is happening it's Chris. here? That's just all Chris. Baby. But was he always that? He's I thought always he always roided out. Jesus fuck! So it is canon then. Got to juice up from day one. He was doing Arnie biceps. I really feel this is another case of someone going, "What? It's a horror game. You're a guy with a gun. Okay, and that's it." And then they got some dude to do gun is that? like they have they have some like one of their friends make his wacky face that makes them all laugh ever since high yeah, school. Yeah, it's like a it's like a Max Payne face. It is a very it's but always grimacing. Yeah, yeah, and they're like, but but you got to show that you're kind of losing your mind. You're going postal a little bit because <laughs> yeah. you're stuck in the Resident Evil, and either they're like, what is it? I'm like, I don't know. Also, Chris is rendered so weirdly. It made me. It makes me think of like. A Marvel masterpiece or a Fleer Ultra series where they had different artists, uh, you know, render each character. And, you know, you get the pack as a kid and you get to that one or two heroes that was drawn by that guy. Yeah. And you just quickly go to the next just card pretend, in your deck. <laughs> pretend it wasn't part yeah, of the series. Yeah, you're almost scared of the card. Like, no, I don't Why? look at that one. They approved it. Yeah, no, they did. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a classic in some ways. But in other ways, it's a horrible abomination that begs for apocalypse. <laughs> okay. All right, look. Have you seen this guy before? Okay, no. This guy's pretty famous. But I feel like this is the problem with having too much too what? much confidence in your CG. <laughs> your image. Like, you're like, man, our faces look so good. Oh, God. Just slap one of them faces on that box. Huh? Everyone's going to be super impressed Everyone's by gonna, it. This doesn't... The, the the name, the mystery of the druids, this guy doesn't seem like he's very... Like, he seems pretty bold What's, and rageful. I just... I, like... What? Because they gave him pores. And a big potato nose. They did, and they, you know, they really felt like they were going for it. What's going on with his bottom lip? It's just kind of disappearing into his mouth. He doesn't appear to have one. He has no bottom row of teeth. (laughs) Oh, I thought you were going to put the little, like, anime blushes... On his cheeks. Oh, oh, I don't think, I don't, I mean, we weren't in that kawaii area, you <laughs> yeah, know? there like, you go. Like, I guess we could make him Choji. Give him the, give him the little, uh, feline girl tooth. Oh, uh, the, like, <laughs> single, single the bite? Single sharp tooth. Yeah, there you go. That looks, he that, loves that's it. That's actually an improvement. He loves it. So, there's some type of mystery behind this druid, I guess. There's some vague stones... Stonehenge. I'm not mm. really sure what's going on in the background. Maybe he was getting a little shy. Oh no! Please, <laughs> please, Druid Kun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't go too close into the void there. What? What is the House of Tales? Yeah. Real nice. Real clear logo here. Go up to that big dumb sticker. It, it looks like a face. 
Is that correct? I don't know, dude. Like, I'm seeing, you'll like, a nose. Ask, you'll have to ask the artisans at House of Tales. Right? And I'm seeing what appears to be, like, maybe he's reading a book. Oh, yeah, okay, now I see it. And or he's holding a sword. Because he's planning to plunge himself on it. I mean... What's that big dumb sticker in the top right? We need... <laughs> like, where was this bought and sold? New Era Entertainment, Inc. In Henderson Industrial Park, Singapore. Singapore. Well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, Dimension yeah, 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the first game had an okay box art, but I remember when I first saw this and I was like, holy shit. Wouldn't, wouldn't this, wouldn't, not a Renegade Kid? Not a Renegade, Renegade kid. kid, yeah. I see South Peak. South Peak is the publisher. Um, I had to ask... A friend of, of a friend of a friend to be like, oh, you're in a GameStop. Can you get me Dementium too while you're there? Yes. And they went, oh, okay. What is? The, they didn't know that meant that much about games. And I was like, it's this boxer, and they're like, okay, I'm not gonna forget that. Yeah. I'm gonna find that. That's. And you know, horror games on the DS not very common, but this you, you'll never forget this image. This is excellent. Like. This is exactly what a horror game should be. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know what, man? Your font is cool, too. It's not even bad. You're doing it. Uh, I am fine with a big hand coming out of my throat, but the amount of hair on this guy's arm, that's the part I'd feel uncomfortable Yeah, with. it's not just like, any hand, uh, and it's not just your hand. It's a hairy hand. It's, yeah. a, it's a hand that knows the toils of a nine-to-five. <laughs> You know, like, what hands with blisters that yep, no yep. work, hands that work with tools, uh, and again unsettling textures in big, big display here. Just weird bed stains of an unknown origin. Bed stains. That's uh, a good one. That's yeah. a good one. And the thought that you know you might get yanked into your own mouth is is troubling. So don't to scream too least. loud. Um, I think this is also going on the thing of like when the grudge movies were coming out, had a lot of imagery, a lot of Japanese horror movies or Asian horror movies would have hands coming out of the back of your head or in your hair oh, yeah. and jumping out. So I think it's trying to like, oh, that's a strong image. Why don't we go with that? There's a PC version, an HD PC version of this game played in a shitstorm years ago. That's much less effective than this. But uh, this one always pretty strong to me, always sticks out in my head when I think of Horror game box art. Yeah, no, this is... Dude, this, don't! <laughs> I, it's not even about that, okay. but it's like, I, I don't know what type of mess makes this sort of stain, but that stain that is stain. like something bad happened there. Yeah. <laughs> some big whoops, some big accidents went down. Big accidents. And they didn't clean it because they didn't have time. They did not. I remember right. seeing ads for this This in, this, in this, this is out comics. of this. This doesn't All even belong time. here. Like, this is out of place. Really? Blood and monsters everywhere? A guy holding a bloody knife? Because this isn't even trying to scare you. This is just Dude, trying to... Dude, that's super scary. This is just trying to be a cool Ness adventure. Okay, so that What's up with Krang's syringe? That's disgusting and scary. Look at the Graboid coming in from the left. There's a lot of horrifying imagery here. And then we've got... A little gremlin with an umbilical cord. Yeah, like the, the, the cats, little, little creep, creep cats, guts can coming out, and then rat in a, in a bucket, cup. in a little boat. <laughs> You're right, like that's scary. You don't know what his intentions are. <laughs> you don't know what he, we, what his designs are I for you. I know what the intentions are of a skeleton with Cthulhu wings, and it has lungs inside of of its rib cage. Okay, but wait a minute, though. Look at that cool guy. But what is this? A bone? Oh, I know. It's the thing you crush. You crush um, uh, ingredients in in the in the bowl. A mortar pestle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what the the rat must be. So the there. rats for crushing to be an ingredient. Yes, because because of witchcraft and so on and so forth. Ah, you're right. But is this vial of spilled blood also like and it's his, on his blood? Hand? Wait, look, he, he knows cut, stabbing... He's the, cut himself. No, no, look, the gremlin stabs his foot. 
with his, oh, with this, his tiny weapon. So there's blood coming off the knife, but also from his hands and also from the gremlin stab in his foot. And it's also from the vial. So there's blood from all sources. It's really. all mixing together. All kinds of blood. Also, I just noticed he came out of a door in the ground. Yes. He's just coming out of a cellar. That's true, too. And then he's like, oh, shit. I came into the one where there's a mummy and Krang. But to be fair, with the exception of uh, this Mega Man skull boss back here. Yeah. And this little incredible mansion little too. mansion behind him, and a spooky logo. Big Dr. Chaos. Big don't 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 you get don't get scared, but big spooks. Look at that big spooks. Look at that vague Halloween shape. Um. Look at the Halloween clip art number two. He's being attacked by what is essentially ads from a boss fight that you can kill in one hit. Yeah, maybe. Lots of like annoying like, again little boat rats. And get, <laughs> like you can just kick this fucker. You can just kick him, and he's dead, and, and he the, gives you coins. The Graboid, I feel the art is actually from a larger scale creature, but now they shrunk it down, and he looks like he's not that intimidating. Yeah, that, well, like that's how just... I used to draw snakes and dragons back in the day, <laughs> is I draw that open mouth the exact same way, because mm. it's easy. I just noticed that the mummy has claws coming out of the ends of his mummy fingers. Indeed he do. And what the fuck is the perspective on that? Oh. The mummy's super behind him. Oh, He's don't even. way down, but his no, hand no, no, is, no. Dude, is there's, overlapping there's the door, guy's Look, shoulder. they're allowed to get away with it. There's oh, doors it's, floating it's in the multiverse. It's impossible space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't, you know, this is, this is Escher shit. You don't have to fucking, you don't have to figure it out. I and feel really bad he's getting his foot stabbed. And not to mention the wings of, of the skull boss. Why does Skull by a Skull Man have guts? I don't know. That's it's creepy. Though the only thing scarier than a skeleton is a skeleton that still has some of its organs. There's that. There's that picture going around. It's like all, all y'all fucking getting tired with that stupid skeleton shit. Yeah. Skeletons aren't scary. The meat. Think about meat. The meat. The oozing meat. Yeah. yeah the yeah, meat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty gross. Um. And last but not least, of course, you've got the fact that. You know, Breaking Bad taught us that you only use one of these types of beakers when you want to oxidize the blood and right, it, right. get the temperature well, up yeah. there. So they're clearly up to some more than just basic bitch level witchcraft. Mm -hmm. These guys know what they're doing. What's shocking me that I saw ads for this very piece of art in comic books unaltered with all this blood and violence. Like, how did this not... This image alone should have been censored for an NES game. Because that's it's crazy. There, it's violence, but it's little annoying violence. It's not no one's getting killed or obliterated. It's just little scrapes and cuts. Look how much blood little, there is. But though. it's just oh, you little poke. Ow, ow, just lots of little owies and oh, you cut there me with a the, syringe lodged in ow, someone's just, brain. Ah, it's, ow, he likes it. You know, it's it's just little he, owies. It does look like he came with the syringe. And this rat's about to be like ow. It's just little owies. <laughs> ouch, ouch. It's a bunch of little owies. Ouchy, ouch. You know, nothing really, really outright horrible. For three, dude, I fucking hate this. What type of stupid asshole goes? Okay, so the right, okay, stay with me. We're gonna put two guys, but because we want to be gunmen's, but the whole series is about this little girl. So fuck it, just put her eyes on it. I don't care. Now, also call it free rear. For a second, I thought it was it was clever because I thought this it was eye the space between was their, the space between no, his arm. No, not even. Close. And I looked at the other one, and then I looked back at the first one, and it's one hundred percent just slapped on top of it like some dumb bullshit. <laughs> There's other fear box art where it's just Alma there, the girl just standing there looking creepy, and that's it. And it's super effective. So this has the double whammy of such a stupid design choice that someone thought, like, oh, look how cool this is. Uh, coupled with the second strike of freer at the top, like, it makes it, like, one of the worst to me. So they da they manage to get their their they stay on message by showing you that you have gunman with his body armor on. Yeah. So there is military action, and you have That's good. That's good. I like military action. And, and, uh -huh. What else you got? And you've got like magic spooks going on on this side Man with blurry hands and headshot, and he's still alive. So ooh, Dormammu head. Big burning magic head. Look at this aura. Might be a Metal Gear boss. Who knows? Who knows? He's not. Um. What I will say is that they're very nicely rendered. 
Yeah. The, like the, the artist did art a good job. Displays, you know right? what I mean? Like like this is not a badly done piece of art, but it's just badly composed because <laughs> it's fucking stupid. <laughs> This is Fatal Frame 4, or Project Zero Okay, 4. okay. Uh, Japanese logo how fucking sick that is logo really is. nice. Yeah. yeah. Too bad we can't understand shit. No, but it's, it means the mask of the lunar eclipse. Very stylized. I like it vertical. Yeah, no, I like it vertical, too, because it very doesn't different. happen that often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, big scary house. No, this is good. This is very good. Everything's this is really cool. nice and centered. Nice colors. Like, it's actually, like, again, a nice piece of art. Yeah. No, shout-outs to this grass. Right? And I, and I can't... Like, is this, in fact, a render? It is. That's I 3D. I believe so, yeah. Yeah, that's 3D. And But it looks... It looks like a render that was touched up. You know? Yeah. A lot of the Fatal the fatal Frame games under Nintendo, like this one, Fatal Frame 5, <laughs> uh, and even... Um, uh, the Fatal Frame 2 remake that came in the Wii all have really, really strong box arts, whereas a lot of the American box art for Fatal Frames in the past were like, hit and miss. Some of them were like, okay, and then others were like, yeah. But this is like, personally, my favorite one. That's really, yeah. Uh, it's it's unfortunately lacking in freak point bonus. Yeah, or zero shot erotica. But uh, it, it is mood setting. I'll give it that. Mm. Um... The logo is actually the strongest. Part the logo is the, the, so nice. The logo it, it could be out any backdrop, like yeah, really, yeah, like yeah. you could put that on anything. Uh, I wonder, can you put it on the uh, Juan <laughs> Fright Simulator? Can, can that look any better? I wonder. I mean, like, it, it, like if you could almost, I could almost see like that mask just being Majora's mask. Yeah, doesn't look not a camera to be seen anywhere inside of this though. Yeah, good. All right, well. So the this, fuck is this? This is a Japanese Super Family game uh, called like Mayo uh, Land of the Demon King, something along those lines. And I just put it in here because I'm like, holy shit! This is look doing at this it. Berserk. This is absolutely doing it. And well, if I just noticed there's a giant pentagram over the city. In d with modern day, this could easily be a Shin Megami Tensei. This could easily be yes. That looks like a member of God Hand. Yeah, no, Berserk for, up Berserk for the modern day. Yeah, and there's some. Not only is there a pentagram with, I guess, a, the shape of a, a, a city or something okay. in there. Yeah, something. But uh, around the edges are some evil ass Sanskrit oh, type yeah, I demon see it. fonts. I um, it. And it's it's already scary before we even get down into the action. Yeah. So here we've got yeah, Satan. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, a damsel in his clutches, unable to tell if she's about to be rescued, like if she's even Maybe rescuable. He's rescuing her. I think he might be saving her. <laughs> yeah. So, like, our, like she's done. Looks um, like it. He's wearing badass armor, and he's got his wings coming out. And then we see the crew. Then we see the boys, <laughs> including topless scary demon that doesn't give a fuck yeah big eyeball boy two ends uh and this is the hero and then we get down to the color contrast on our badass dude who clearly is a man but also a beast and strong enough to fight and he's these doing a, fuckers. And he's doing a JoJo pose. And he's henching up. He's he's, a, he's about to hench in. It's not okay. necessarily a JoJo. He's like pointing to the left. He's like, check that shit and out. And then a big ass, bold, strong fucking font, uh, uh, you know, choice. Yeah. It really stands out. So you yeah, know I don't know. What this game actually is? No clue, but it's awesome. It is a side scroller where you play as a guy in a white t shirt and jeans and you shoot a gun. Oh, god damn it all. I know, hell. right? Why? You are fighting monsters and demons, that but. That sucks. And it does hint at that, at least with the modern That's day trash. buildings. But as a vertical piece of art, because as we've. You know, seen before in previous box art critiques, Super Famicom box art is always very vertical like this. Uh, uh, it's still a striking piece. Yeah, okay. So, so someone's ass so has here, now exploded. I might have I might have said this before, but like, uh, if not, then it's a new to you confession. Yeah, that the first time I heard about Pokemon. <laughs> oh boy. 
the fr- yeah i thought it was just a rebranded monster in my pocket <laughs> Because that's amazing. Because I remember Monster in my pocket, and I knew about it for a long time, and then suddenly someone came along and said, "Yeah, there's a thing called Pocket Monsters," yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. "Oh, like, oh monster like Monster in my pocket." pocket. Yeah, they just and they were like, "Yeah, absolutely, like that." So I'm like, "Oh, cool, they brought it back." Nice. What? And it was like a Nintendo game, and it was. Well, Konami, but it, it, I just it, knew it as a Nintendo it game. All the boxes. So, what reason would I have to not believe that a new game called Pocket Monsters wasn't just a simple reboot of Monster in My Pocket? So, someone told an artist, "We have a game called Monster in My Pocket." And he went, "Got it, nailed it." And he <laughs> just drew a pocket, drew some monsters. This took him eight minutes. It's actually super, super sick looking. Yeah, and and I mean, you know, the name the name informs the art. The art informs the, the name. name. Who's your favorite monster? In the, I'm in a this? big fan of the Wolfman. I also like the Wolfman. I like the T-shirt he's wearing because it shows you that he's a lycanthrope. <laughs> I love those additional monsters that are just ready to ball bust out. Mm-hmm. That you can see the the silhouettes of their eyes and such. Um, but I I do want to not. I don't want to ignore the awesomeness that is this orcish brow. Yeah, look at Sapo over there disappearing into his shoulders. That's a brow. That's a brow you can hang on your wall. Fucking disappearing into his goddamn shoulders yep. is his face, which means he can't even look up if he wanted to. <laughs> but don't sleep on eyes in the dark over here. They're very scary. Or look like, at that horror. That's Baraka. Or or th- uh, uh, scroll, super <laughs> or scroll, scroll yeah. slash Thanos hanging out over that there. That guy's actually horrible. He's pretty rough. A little Wendigo. Hey, did you know that we'll get the free Konami monster? I mean, there were the Is little it plastic Pachinko? toys. They were these shitty little plastic toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what's weird though? This does, you know, you know, on on Matt and Willie get everything wrong. We talk about lies. Yep. This super lies because you don't get. I don't even think you get monsters even close to this. In Monster My Pocket for the NES, you get a little Dracula, like a little Bella Lugosi, little Dracula guy, a little mummy, and a little Frankenstein. And I think that's about it. Hmm. This this just went whole hog on it, just like nah, skeletons and demons and fucking all this stuff. I'm but, re- I'm I'm really shocked that uh, this creature didn't wing nut didn't take off, whereas Pikachu did. Yeah, you know, I'm shocked that kids didn't take a liking to this. I really, mm, you know, I would have put money on that. All right, so, this is a this is a this is a cool cover for. A, it is. I wish we got it for a. Not good game, I believe. Yes, it's it's not a great this game. Bad game. I, I think I know. Um, so the the North American boxer for Silent Hill Downpour is just like uh, Murphy with being shot from the uh, the the face down or like the mouth down, and he's just holding an axe, and it says Silent Hill Downpour, and that's it. This is uh, the uh, Japanese version, and it's so much cooler. Mm. That's probably one of the better modern Silent Hill box arts I I can even remember. I think the logo stands out a little too much. Like it's okay, a so the hues pr- of blue. Exactly. So the 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 what's stupid and shitty about this box? Yeah. is the f- fog on Silent Hill being super pasted on top uh-huh. of this other piece of art. Yeah, and then they're like, "How do we get it to blend?" And then the guys like. Just take the eraser brush and put the just, opacity down. Just erase all the, the the top of those buildings. Like just use the yeah the font. No, no, no. Look, downpour. they like it, they just did the classic old like grow that eraser to like size two hundred. Yeah, and then let's just wipe it over here uh-huh, and okay. wipe it over there. Now we're and, done. and now it fits. There it is. Bam! Uh-huh. And it's like no uh, man. Great. It's a completely different kind of blue. Yeah. It just it it no bad, very bad. In fact, terrible. And it sucks because the rest of the of the art is so strong is great. and scary. Yeah. Now, if they did like take this just this text, right? Yeah. Take like the typography here. Take downpour here. And then let's just say take the shape of these these the houses and buildings and whatnot to get that. As like a a a uh, shape that was attached to this, and then use um 
when you go to your blending options, you do uh, fucking luminosity. Right. Right? And you get rid of all this blue so that it stays within yeah, the yeah, realm yeah. of this gray you and just black. You turn down the saturation of it's it, too. Because you're... What are you doing with this extra color here? I don't know. It looks garbage. It's, they're like, well, we want it to stand out. I'm like, yes, yeah. but it's standing out way too much. Also, Piggy Nose is funny here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does anyone scream like that in the game? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, well. Because it was so painful. Okay. No, that's good. That's good, though. It's good. Good piece, but but fucking way to drop the ball. I wouldn't on, say it ruins your... it, but it doesn't do it any. But favors. is that just like the? Is that the logo from the other box art? Just like yeah. kind of slapped here. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The PC version All of right. Omicron had this box art. No Bowie. No Bowie. Wow. Who the fuck is that? That's a guy. Who? That's a guy we fought. Who did when did I we don't fight him? I don't fucking know, but is, we fucking fought that guy. I, I remember don't that even, face. Uh, so this is Kale's eye. Kale? I don't. F this is the eye symbol that you see the little thing on his eye. Yeah, yeah. Is that's the. the that's like tattoo? what they had. Those stupid eye tattoos. So there's that. I don't know why it's shiny. Neither do I. But there it is. Um, I mean, this is this is a cool render. Sure is. Doesn't tell you much though. It doesn't tell me what the game actually turned out to be. I mean, There's huge lies. Yeah, like it's it's it makes it seem way more horror-y as well. It does, but it's like, but like at least in in the vague horror things we looked at before, you kind of saw someone screaming or getting ripped into their own mouth. Yeah, as usually. This thing. isn't really telling me anything. It's it's like technically done well, but and and yeah, you got so a good filter on it. At, at first, when we looked at this, you, you go like, "Hey, that that's kind of," and then you're like, "Wait, no, there's a face." On top of a logo, on top of an eyeball, and then Omicron is not even on the fucking thing. No, it's not. And and just like, wait, what? Oh, wait, this is way worse than I thought initially. And, you know, now that I'm removed from it, I could probably appreciate that font if mm -hmm. I wasn't retching in my guts right now. I, well, I decided to put the most horrible game, the most horror-based game ever... Right at the end there for you, but um, yeah, this is a this is this will trick you, this will get you. <laughs> I'm sure it tricked many a person. For a I half second, you're like, hey, and then you're like, wait, wait, what? No, stop. <laughs> and then someone you, stop, <laughs> please. God, why is that shiny on top of that guy's head? As I well? don't know. It's supposed to be the eyes lens flare reflecting. Even if his face wasn't there, it's in the wrong place on the eyeball. And there's three of them. Yeah. There's there's two on the top and there's one off. Uh. And the Nomad Soul doesn't stand out enough because it's yellow on yellowish red it, anyway. It stands out a little it's bit. It's basically but, orange. But it, it could stand out way more. No. Well, it's very easy to nitpick this now. This is garbage. <laughs> what a trash box.